pinboards might sound like an old fashioned way of sparking creativity, but today's video proves that idea discovery is now a multi billion dollar business. But what's the story behind Pinterest? How does the website work? And how does Pinterest make money? Here's how it happened. Pinterest story is a great example of never knowing how or who inspiration might strike. Take one of their co-founders, Ben Silberman, who enrolled in a medicine course at MIT in the late 90s, but a few years later graduated from Yale with a degree in political science. After working at Google, he quit his prestigious job along with friend Paul Sciarra, and the pair teamed up to revolutionise online shopping with their mobile app Tote. Their idea was to turn turn internet shopping into a social experience, where users could save their favourite items, share them with friends, and notify them when certain products became available locally. Despite the app receiving a warm reception, unfortunately online payment services weren't as advanced as Tote's browsing features, resulting in long lists of favourite items failing to be converted into actual purchases, and ultimately the closure of the app. But what stuck with Silberman and Skiara was the the thousands of images and collections users had shared with each other and how this function could be recycled. The duo got to work on Pinterest in 2009, an online pin board where users could categorise photos, recipes, quotes, or anything visual they wanted to share with the world, and were later joined by a third co-founder, Evan Sharp. The site started on an invite-only basis, aimed at designers who could bring their own creativity to the platform and amass 10,000 users within a year of launch. There were doubts over the founders' vision for Pinterest, as they lacked a clear purpose for their invention, but a belief in the human need to categorise and backing from the CEO of Eventbrite and super investor Ron Conway convinced the team to persevere. By the middle of 2012, the service reached an average of 10 million monthly users in the US, a feat achieved quicker than Facebook, Twitter, or any other standalone site in history, and 100 million dollars of investment from Japanese firm Rakuten gave the founders the confidence to roll their social network out publicly. Skiara also left Pinterest that year due to reported personal reasons, making Silberman the key figurehead and he successfully led the company from strength to strength. Over the next few years, the site continued to innovate and carve out its own niche within social media. Pinterest became one of the first social sites to introduce infinite scrolling, and as as phones and their cameras grew more sophisticated, the visual nature of pins went hand in hand with the rise of smartphones. Also, the way users explore topics and boards meant that you didn't need many followers to get your content seen, providing further incentive for new members to join. As AI started to play a bigger role in Pinterest's functionality, the site moved away from its image as a social media platform and began to brand itself as a visual discovery engine. It then achieved unicorn status in 2015, with a total valuation of around $11 billion, a figure that only looks to grow thanks to its current half a billion monthly average users. But for all its popularity, how does Pinterest actually make any money? In short, the answer is advertising, but it's not quite as simple as banner ads plastered across the app's interface. These commercials can come in the form of promoted pins, which blend seamlessly into your home feed and can be charged per action, so marketers only pay out when a certain target is met. Plus, Pinterest has partnered with e-commerce merchants like Shopify to make shopping an everyday part of your discovery experience. Given that Pinterest is able to build such a clear picture of your hobbies and interests, and that half its user base resides in the US, one of the world's richest countries, it comes as no surprise that investors can't keep their hands off the social social platform. Let us know if you've used Pinterest, and if you think it's everything it's cracked up to be. That's how it happened, and thanks for watching.